hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i am going to explain you how to calculate the unknown values when the rank of a matrix is given using the echelon form in the subject of m1 uh, so m1 in the sense you may also have it in m2 or you know some other people also but still according to me i'm going to i mean since i'm teaching m1 i'm saying m1 okay uh, so basically this kind of problem is what, what i'll explain you what you have to do what the problem is and what you have to do you'll be given a matrix okay usually why do we use echelon form in order to calculate the rank right but here the rank is already given okay the thing you have to find out is this one in the matrix you are having a unknown value you need to find out the value of that k okay so how to do that let us see in this video basically rank is equal to 2 means what do you mean by that rank is equal to 2 is nothing but you have two non-zero rows right you have two non-zero rows and the others are zero rows right so now let us um, do so obviously what is the first step identifying the diagonal in echelon form so identify the diagonal and all the elements below the diagonal just mark them like this okay you need to make all these elements zero if this is a non-zero row i mean if this is a zero row if not you you can even transform also transformations also you can do right so first what we will do is for first operation let us apply like let us interchange r1 and r2 why because see usually when we are performing the row transformations we will be doing it with the help of the first row but here in the first row first element what do we have we have zero with zero we cannot perform any operation even if you add even if you multiply you divide you subtract whatever you do the value of these things will not change right so first let us interchange r1 and r2 not only in this problem in any problem if the first element is zero you interchange it mm. so what do you get r1 and r2 are interchanged so once you interchange you get so that means this will come here and this will come here 1 0 1 1 0 1 minus 3 minus 1 and r3 r4 same done so now what we will do let us apply some uh, I mean transformations so again diagonal mm. this 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 have to become zero right so this is already become zero this element so we need not change r2 r2 we can keep it as it is so we have to change r3 and r4 okay because r2 is already zero you need not touch it so r3 so how can you change r3 as r3 minus 3 into r1 because 1 into 3 is 3 3 minus 3 0 so r3 minus 3 r1 next r4 direct r4 minus r1 simply minus 1 minus 1 0 mm. so what you will get 1 0 1 1 0 1 minus 3 minus 1 these both will be same so this one 3 minus 3 0 because 3 minus 3 into r1 0 into 3 is 3 only sorry 0 into 3 is 0 only so 1 minus 0 you get it as 1 again next r3 minus 3 r1 right r3 is 0 minus 3 r1 you get it as minus 3 because 0 minus 3 into 1 minus 3 right next r3 minus 3 r1 2 minus 3 into 1 so 2 minus 3 you get it as minus 1 okay done next this on this row you do r4 minus r1 so 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 is 1 k minus 1 is k minus 1 since you don't know the value of oh sorry sorry oh yeah since you don't know the value of k you can keep it as k minus 1 only and 0 minus 1 is minus 1 okay so this is same as the previous problem which we have seen if you can remember the previous problem uh, 4 by 5 matrix echelon form we did right so the same so here you have r2 r3 r4 all the three are same right so what you can do you can do r3 minus r2 then you will get this one as 0 right 
and do the subtraction what you will get r3 is equal to r3 minus r2 let us assume and do the subtraction what you will get 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 minus 3 minus of minus 3 0 minus 1 minus of minus 1 0 so the same way this also will become 0 right why because r2 when r2 r3 r4 both are all the three are same you can make these two rows as zeros obviously here also you will get the same so since it is same then only it will become 0 right so k minus 1 will be equal to minus 3 k is equal to minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to sorry plus 1 which is equal to so so k is equal to minus 2 is what you will get okay since the rank is 2 that means we have two non-zero rows and two zero rows right so non-zero rows are these two and these are the two zero rows so obviously if if it has to become a zero row then obviously it should be equal to this one right so then only if you subtract you will get so that is why k minus 1 is equal to minus 3 like that you will get uh, so i think you are clear if not let me know i'll try to explain it again no issues in that i'll also explain you one more problem in the same model like in the same uh, what do we say k like finding the unknown value because we have it in the last row but instead of last row if we, if we are having it in between or if you are having it in a rectangular matrix instead of the square matrix like this how to do so um, taking that scenario into consideration i'll explain you one more problem about finding the unknown value so with that we will be done with the echelon form next we, we can go for normal form or it is also called as canonical form okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure and also do let me know whether i have to continue the series or not mm, because if you are able to understand i'll continue otherwise i'll stop okay so that's all let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end